12. Method of analysis for spiritual character and spirituality. If there were a way to analyze people's spiritual characters or their spirituality, it would be a very useful and effective tool for improving one's own level of consciousness as well as for educating others. However, once spiritual character and spirituality change continuously as time goes by and they also tend to show great range of amplitude depending on the environmental conditions. Because they are characteristics of the informatic body, it's impossible to measure their composition and size as precisely as one does with other physical materials. Furthermore, as previously mentioned, although a person with an advanced level of spiritual character can easily and accurately recognize the structures of consciousness of other people whose spiritual levels are not as advanced, a person with a low level of spiritual character is incapable of recognizing someone else or, for that matter, even his own spiritual character. Therefore, if someone has some difficulty in grasping other people's psyches or the structure of their consciousness, he or she would be well advised to obtain help from another person who has a higher level of spiritual character. Spiritual character levels or spirituality have never been accurately analyzed before. A relatively recent development is the work by Dr. David Hawkins in the USA, who published for the first time the result of analyzing numerically assigned values of 1 to 1000. I concur with his findings entirely. I also have conceived a similar system of assigning values of 1 to 100 to a person's spiritual character. However, as Dr. David Hawkins' methods of analysis have already been published, in order to avoid confusion among the readers, I shall also classify a person's spiritual character level using the unit ranging from 1 to 1000 because the import of a spiritual character level and that of a spirituality are different rather than treating the two subjects that are difficult to analyze together. I shall separate the methods of analysis for spiritual character and spirituality and treat them separately. The methods of analysis presented here are not absolute. Rather, these are the methods that I have utilized in my daily life. As such, if the reader applies his or her interest and starts putting various methods into practical uses, he or she will gain the know-how and in the end will become adapt to the point where fairly accurate analysis can be obtained. One thing that needs to be understood at this point is that it is difficult to accurately analyze a person who ha has a higher spiritual character than the analyzer him or herself. It is because the person with a higher spiritual character may live in a world of consciousness that the other has not experienced. experienced. Before getting into analyzing spiritual characters, it might benefit us to run some forehand knowledge regarding the distribution of spiritual characters in classifying them on the 1 to 1000 scale. As explained previously, human Evolution involves activating and vitalizing the intellectual frame, aesthetic frame, metaphysic frame, altruistic frame, 
and the stellar frame and then refining them in order to maximize their potentials in the sense if we regard the perfection of informatic body frame as 200 when all five of them become perfected the total point add up to 1000 it's believed that this method would be able to estimate a person's spiritual character in a relatively objective manner illustrating the above discussion in figure we can assign the following point to the activation of each informatic body frame activation of each informatic body frame and the spiritual character point 10 to 200 intellectual frame 200 to 400 point aesthetic frame 400 to 600 point metaphysic frame 600 to 800 point altruistic frame 800 po 100 to 1000 point stellar frame and 1000 more more than 1000 point uh, is ultimate emancipation and uh, below 10 point is animals animal in point of that in point of fact looking at the levels of evolution of the people who are living on us at this point most of them are at the stage of activating their intellect intellectual frames therefore it's estimated that people with their spiritual character point below 200 comprise 80 to 90 percent of all human beings only a small min minority is applying themselves to evolution at a higher level this poor progress of human evolution is due to the inability of humankind to recognize the ultimate purpose of life people have misunderstood achieving wealth comfort and fame as success in life and spend their lives without knowing true happiness and the profound rules of evolution consequently us has come has become a chaotic arena of struggle where failing repeater repeaters conduct battle after battle repeating shooter futile lifetimes for the thousands of years omniology however has the fundamental information that can realize not only human happiness but also achieve rapid evolution and the maxi maximization maximization of peace among men at this turning point of history in the beginning of the 21st century thus it will have a nuclear bomb like impact on reversing the stagnant flow of evolution one thing we need to know about the early stages of human evolution is that often people with a juvenile level of a spiritual character tend to show to some degree the characteristics of endowment attained during the animal stages some of the most prominent tendencies in animals are fear of natural enemies do or die hunting tactics a strong desire for reproduction fear of the environment and fear of becoming incapacitated all humans are born with these characteristics of the informatic body at some point for the reason during the early stages of evolution one 
starch with such negative senses as fear of social institutions. Fear of becoming incon incapacitated, incapacitated, a sense of persecution, shame, powerlessness, etc. As one gradually gets to know the human society and environment, one's negative sense starts adding active ingredients such as desire, opposition, anger, and a sense of guilt. When power of judgment is increased and know-how is accumulated, one comes to have courage and pride, and gradually start enjoying the general population level of life. After that, one attains endowment in certain fields and grow, grows to become a professional. One becomes an authority in one's chosen field and matures into an eminent person. As one masters one's professional field, one starts gaining philosophical concepts which bring about understanding in many other areas. Ultimately, one starts sensing the spiritual world and upon mastering profound truth, one evolves into the state of enlightenment. The process of evolution outlined above are achieved through an astronomically long period of time. Although a large number of people waste a disproportionately long time at the activation stage of the intellectual frame. Which, which is the uh, early phase of evolution once the il intellectual frame is sufficiently activated and the aesthetic frame starts activating, the ability to concentrate and other positive attributes increase dramatically and accordingly pace of uh, evolution becomes accelerated. However, the different paces of evolution's progress show great distinctions between indi individuals according to the ways they live their lives. Because Earth's pace of evolution after the year 2000 will become accelerated, human evolution will progress at a very different tempo compared to the past. In order to help objectify the analysis of spiritual character levels, a table listing people's characteristics of consciousness by their spiritual character points is shown below. People's characteristics of consciousness by their spiritual character level points 1. 250 points Vulgar and wicked Lidagic and hopeless Incapable of feeling shame May have proclivity to steal Anger and rebellion 50 to 100 points Feels remorse Despair, sadness, and fear has a sense of victimization, feels joy, anger, sorrow, and pleasure, pursues mainly physical pleasures. 100 to 150 points. Actively pursues desires, feels strongly of joy, anger, sorrow, and pleasure thinks of oneself as clever, shows gradual lies of egotism, holds one's social inferiors in contempt, has a strong sense of self-respect, 152-200 points, has a strong subjective viewpoint, knowledgeable and intelligent, egoistic and arrogant, has a superior feelings, capable scientist. 
200 to 250 points respect others and becomes less arrogant is considerate to community and start gaining positive and progressive outlook start regarding the humanity of a person more important than knowledge leaders in society 252-300 points is interested not only in the field of knowledge but in aesthetics and morals beginning of peaceful temperament capable scholars and artists 300 to 350 points masters once chosen professional field and shows capable leadership becomes adept in smooth interpersonal relationships capable social leader at international level or politician 350 to 400 points demonstrate uncommon creativity and high level of talent start being humble artist at peak level 400 to 600 points world level maestros in various fields top level religious leaders great thinkers 600 to 800 points most concept of ego has disappeared uh, transcending the blood and the regional ties touch living a dedicated life towards evolution of humankind and us 800 to 1000 points becomes even more humble and simple entire mannerism disappears and becomes completely free leaves communicating with the informatic body of the larger cosmic self mundane world temptations are completely gone mostly lives in seclusion separated from the mundane world or lives disseminating pollution-free information of nature in the mundane world without being known to anyone an enlightened person the table presented above shows the standards in analyzing people's spiritual character levels regardless of the methods used if the distribution of marks follows this table it should not be too far from the truth let us know look at the methods method of analy analysis for spiritual characters